So I definitely want to try uh, more tank mythics to see which one's the best. So far I still think Sunfire is the best, but this game I want to try Frostfire. Um, you make use of the Snowbind passive, whereas here you don't make use of the Flame Touch. But it's cheaper, which is also good, but less armor, less magic resist, no tenacity, no slow resist, and you increase in size, which is kind of bad. But I want to try it regardless, maybe it's good, maybe it's better than I think. They are in lane. We should be there barely in time. Okay, I miss a minion for no reason though. Hello for the misfortune, it's over on YouTube as well. Live streaming on Twitch right now, link in the description, so check that out if you want to see. And I don't really want to give them level advantage. Huge damage on Shen though. Press the attack trigger plus Velkos. But yeah, it looks like they get level 2. Yeah, they need one more minion. We need to be careful. Samira's all-ins are quite nasty. Okay, there we go. So yeah. Um, this should be a good lane, though. If you poke them low enough, they can't go all-in. Velkos has good poke potential, for sure. Unless he just does it like that. <laughs> Accidents happen, I suppose. Nice. And Shen did not get to deny this. He tried to challenge the cannon, you could see from his body language. But yeah, we need to be careful not to get all in. Also need to be careful not to get Diana ganked when the wave's pushing out like this. Nice. Okay, and top lane is fine too. Plus, I'm getting all my CS. Yeah, so far so good. Let's just try to keep up the pace. Pressure them. Don't let them base for free. Okay, that was extremely dumb of them. That's what I mean. Tank supports with little HP, they can't do anything. They need their HP aggressively as a resource. <sighs> Almost. Good karma roam, gotta admit. I tried to outplay with exhaust, but it didn't quite work out for me. Oh, this is so fishy. None of them have mana. <laughs> Shut down. Please. Oh, she gets away. That's such a shame. Shako tried to prevent her from executing, so he went this way. But now she just escapes outright. In any case, we have 25 bonus AD with our items, which means we can farm under tower indefinitely. Plus, we have lifesteal. We're looking very good here. Ah. Okay, they trade one for one at least. Oh, misclick. <clears throat> but yeah, we're still leading in terms of CS. And now we have the Vamp Scepter Overheal combo. Protecting our W movement speed. And we don't really have to spend mana. Legend Alacrity is so much early attack speed that you can manipulate the wave without using spells. Which means it doesn't really hurt you that you don't have... Ok, 
Okay, barely. Almost cancelled Noto. <laughs> oh no, Shaco, please don't rage quit. I really hope he comes back. Okay, he actually is back. We just saw a disconnect message for some reason. Yeah, okay, everything's fine. We're actually doing great. I get my BF sword. Huge purchase. Super strong right now. Yeah, I really like this legendary core. Bloodthirster, Essence Reaver, Infinity Edge. And then you can get whatever you need. And it's mostly just a tank item, right? Sunfire, Frostfire, even Shroud. So far, again, I, th I still think Sunfire is the best because of the stat profile. But yeah, I really want to test this Frostfire thing. Maybe the slow, uh, the, the slowing field is good enough, a reason. I don't think so. But it might be. That was sad. I shouldn't have risked this ever. Hope my team can revenge kill. Yeah, okay, they can. Good. So, ultimately I didn't die in vain, but it still feels bad. <clears throat> I had no chance to outplay this Shen Taunt thing with my, without my flash, so... Yeah, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. We get a double, ultimately, because of this. And I'm still scaling. Hmm. Kinda have to ult this. Because it's not under tower if I don't. Unlucky that I missed the cannon minion there, but... Most importantly, they can't freeze the wave now. They could have had I not altered. Shen would have zoned me or killed me, and I wouldn't have gotten any far more experience. Well, cause roaming, so I can't stay either. Alright, let's go back bot lane. Or not. <laughs> What's happening there though? Top lane's a hot mess. It looks like. Yeah, Samira dead for another 5 seconds. I can push one wave and then recall. Get my Bloodthirster. Okay, I missed two minions, which might, which might cost me my back timing here. Yeah, now I kind of need this plating, but I don't get it. I failed. Failed my CS, greeted for the plating, lost my flash for it. I have to stay now either. He has flash, I'm dead. Okay. <clears throat> Can I? Shaco disengaged and let us die there. That's quite tragic. This was so unnecessary. We could have had this. On my way. <laughs> I 
That attack's been slow. I outright can't auto attack anymore. It's crazy. Oh well. Luckily, I didn't die. Now we can heal back up with life steal. No one saw that. <laughs> Didn't happen. Ah, I didn't pay attention. Super unnecessary death. I saw her way too late. I was watching what the others were doing on the minimap and didn't realize. Huge blunder. Was a shutdown too. At least it was only a solo kill, so no assist gold for them. But still, very much unnecessary. So it looks like we kind of just lane swapped, huh? As long as Valkos is with me, I shouldn't be in too much danger. I hope. She's low. Kinda wanna be greedy here. Yeah, mid lane missing. Gotta be careful. Slightly, slightly too late on, or slightly not enough damage. Shen was right there. I thought Samira was by herself because we denied Shen's ulti after killing Fiora. But he was close enough, evidently. Focus dies. That game's such a mess. Literally counts. Yeah. Couldn't save the tower. If I walk up there and get taunted, I'm dead. Yeah, he can take this by himself, actually. I need to fix the wave. Another one. We lose so many towers. I also there because I need this back timing. I can't stay around for long, they're all missing. I want to make sure the wave crashes. Because I lose a lot of farm here, there's a lot of tower damage too. I get to stay safe. Now I have my item. 
<clears throat> I had it anyway, but I need to get a good base timing for it, of course. Alright, so... Drake is there, it's only the second, so who cares, really? Just be careful to not overextend. Like so. Well, it works. Good flash, good reaction. But I'd still rather have my teammates not take these risks. Diana behind us. And Fiora at our inhibitors. <sighs> Come on, team. We lose inhibitor here. Top lane difference once more. Oh, sucks. Nibita will still be down while Baron spawns, which means we lose Baron for this, most likely. Because we have to attend this lane. Yeah, losing that inhib goes a long way. Okay, Vladimir farms with this, so I... I think I reinforce mid lane. But I might need to just save top lane from Samira. Or we do this. Okay, Vladimir rotates. I can stay mid lane now. Set dies a little too often. Needs to stop. Careful. Four and nine. We're all dying too often, to be honest. Yeah, we need to fix bot lane. It's mandatory. I hope Set is fine doing that. I hope we're fine doing that, which looks like we aren't. Absolutely stupid Baron call. Game losing call, actually. Okay, it's Baron for them. They take top lane inhibitor too. They take two mid lane towers at least. Third Drake for them too. They're this, all of this from this Baron call. So bad. Oh well. We can still win, but it's tough. We need Set to come back into this game. I need to shut down Samira. Actually, this game is so close that I don't really think I want to experiment. I want to just I just go for Sunfire. I don't want to lose this.
Could have tried to ult that, but at the same time I thought it's not worth. I might have stolen it, but you know, I'd rather have ult for my team for, for my team here for this team fight. Fiora. Nice, Fiora is dead. We actually win this fight. Just have to keep going. Yeah, we are strong enough to win fights, for sure. We have to be very careful about it. Well, let's lock it. I want Sunfire. Set on one and a half items, at the very least. escapes there. Just gotta stay safe. Okay, she outplayed me there. Well, the real problem is top lane difference. Fiora is still just taking all inhibitors. <sighs> okay, it's a start. If I can stop this, amazing. But I don't have my hopes up, really. Yeah, she just kills them now, doesn't she? Okay, 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 okay. Could be worse. <laughs> Definitely could be worse. But, um... Losing two inibs means we really can't start anything in the next five minutes. All we can do is farm it up. It's pretty much what we, what we have to do here. Let's take our CS and hope for the best. Hope we can miraculously contest Dragon Soul. If we keep winning fights, it doesn't look too bad. Karma will respawn before Dragon spawns, so... Kinda sad. Okay. Unlucky. 
Schön Death Outs jetzt. Or dead. Don't get it stolen, please. Oof. Winnable. That Baron call? No. Not again. Need more farm for my item. I could buy Frostfire right now, but I really think I... Oh, no. Okay, time to get my item. Nice. Actually huge. Yeah, just protect the base here. Maybe this tower too. That's a little too much. Ah, oh, I got baited. Well, I lived long enough for set to revenge kill. Both of them. Okay. Now we're talking. Worth. <laughs> yeah, because of Sunfire, they at least couldn't one shot me. But I, of course, I went too aggressive. This tower was unsalvageable. It was 1 HP. But yeah, this game is definitely winnable. Close, but winnable. Set is coming back into this game, so... Top lane difference is getting smaller. The problem is with Shen, Samira just has so much setup for her stuff. Yeah, don't overcommit, it's not worth. Nothing to do here. Just chill. <sighs> as long as I have a team with me, I can't get one shots, at least. Drake in one minute. Hmm. 
kind of awkward right now. We can't approach because we're a blue team. We have to walk through choke points for dragons. Red team doesn't. Alright. Let's see if they give out this tower. Yeah, okay, they do. Drake spawning. They're on it. Perfect. Okay, let's hope Fiora doesn't finish here. You better not. Just too fast. She used too fast for me. Okay, we lose both base towers. This is so sketchy. Uh, if you are asked to push all game. Okay. So I guess I sell for boots for um, Mortal Reminder and not for the other one. Because I think Healing Reduction is quite good against them. These two, in particular. <sighs> okay, Vladimir can still upgrade one more item, so I don't take farm from him. do Baron, we risk Fiora finishing. Okay, we see Fiora. They have too much life steal. We lose now, Fiora ends. GG. Ultimately lose the top lane difference. So rough. So rough, man. Maybe I should have just sold boots for executioner's calling. I exhausted Samira a little too late there either, uh, or two. But, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So I did what I could. But um, ultimately, Fiora just finishes. Can't do much about that. I mean, in this last fight, yeah, we also got outplayed. We went all in, one versus three, essentially. I should have just kept my distance there and exhausted Samira earlier. Not overcommitted without healing reduction. But uh, yeah, ultimately, this game came down to top lane difference. Fiora just took all our towers, all our inhibitors, all this time. Shaco kept us in the game with the Dragon and Baron's deals. But barely not enough. Anyway. We will reach Master eventually, but if you want to see a one-shot Misfortune build, click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.